Hey there, me again. I'm just here looking at my Outlook desktop and I noticed something that I never noticed was there before. I had a look in Outlook Webmail. It's not quite there as yet, um, but I believe it's coming to Outlook Webmail as well. But if you're using the desktop version of Outlook, then uh, you have this new feature that I'm about to show you. I'm here looking at an email thread between uh, four people and it's just a, a discussion. And if people keep replying all and replying all, this becomes a long discu discussion. They're all separate emails in my inbox and it's really annoying. Email can become really, really inefficient. But um, did you know that you can very quickly turn from an, any email a um, discussion that's happening through email into a discussion on Microsoft Teams? And there's a few ways to do it. There's this little button over here. Whenever you've opened up any email in Outlook desktop, there's this little button that says, uh, Microsoft Teams icon. When you click on it, there's a few options in here. One of them is Share to Teams. And that would be used in the situation, for example, um, your senior manager has sent an email and you need to um, do some action with your um, team. You could, if you want to, share the email from the director to your team and that sends it into a channel in a team that you've got and then people can uh, read the email from the director and then you can have a conversation about what needs to be done, how you're going to go about doing it, action items, all those sorts of things. So there's that share the teams um, option and that when you click on it, simply comes up with a, an option to say, well, what team do you want to put it in? Just type the name of the um, of the team, type in the channel and so on, it'll find that and it will create that conversation inside the channel that you select. Uh, we won't do that one because the two that the other options that I'm more interested in are below that in this option here. Rob has sent me a message here. If I don't want to reply to him and just keep this email thread going, I could just choose to option the option here to chat with him. And if I click that, it will automatically open my chats window that I have with Rob from the past and I can continue chatting with him. It, he doesn't have to be online. It says he's online at the moment. I can see that uh, right now, but he's currently in a meeting, so I don't have to worry about bothering him, but I can send a chat message to him. It'll get a notification for him and he'll be able to respond to that when he's available. But instead of me getting another email back, it's in a chat window that I can always refer to uh, that I just had with Rob. But so let's say I wanted to have a chat with all of these people. Well, that's one of the options here. Chat with Rob, Megan and Greg. And if I click on that, it will instantly create a new chat for me that includes all of those four people, including myself. And I can simply type a new message and that will then say, okay, regarding the email that we've been uh, dealing with, how about we do this, how about we do that, and so on. And you've got it in a more efficient communication platform than email. Uh, the more people start using Teams, particularly for chatting, instant messaging, and so on, the easier your life's going to be, believe me. And the last option in here is sometimes typing text in online messages uh, is not great, and it's really going to be quicker to get together and talk and have a meeting. You can have an online meeting easily. Just choose the option here to schedule a meeting with Rob, Megan and Greg. And if I hit that, it will instantly do a meeting invite. It will invite those people. It will give me the subject matter. It will um, give me the Teams link to the meeting and I can go in there and I can select a date and a time for the meeting. I can look for clashes, um, find out what availability there is for each person and we can have that meeting and it can all be done from the email that you have uh, received in your inbox in Outlook desktop. Hope you found that useful and I will see you in the next video.